Hello, my name is Lori Miller, and I am uh, happy to be able to welcome you to our Tiny Orange Shirt Project. And uh, if you take a look at our website, you'll see more information and details about how to go about uh, knitting, crocheting, sewing, or making the Tiny Orange Sweaters as part of our Reconciliation Project here at UBC in the Faculty of Education. I'm going to share a few slides and a little bit about how to. My area is in uh, knitting, so I've got some examples here with you, uh, for you, and we'll get right to that. A how to knit little tiny orange sweaters. Now there are a number of ways that we can go about knitting sweaters, uh, but to begin with, we will need to take a look at what tools we'll need. Uh, first of all, will be other knitting needles that are straight, and that is. A, a, a straight needle, a double pointed needle like these where the double points or uh, circular needles that are connected one to the next. And the yarn that you'll need will be orange of any shade. And this, the size of the yarn will be either anything from DK, which is a double knit to Aran in size. So not a super bulky and certainly not a soft weight light lace yarn. So for the very beginner, You'll, you can use uh, just a straight knit stitch, where it means you go, you're knitting each row, going back and forth and casting on a number of stitches, and then to create uh, four squares. The four squares will then be gathered up, like in the uh, screen on the left or the image on the left, and then stitched together to, to form a uh, little sweater here. And the sleeves are open and the neck has a little opening too. Uh, the ends on this haven't yet been woven in, but they will be. The next option will be to uh, knit, you, again, going back and forth on a, a set of straight needles where you go back and forth starting at the bottom. So this is what's called a bottom up uh, approach to knitting. And you create a shape. So in the image on the left, you can see that it made a square and then added on additional stitches and then continuing to make the second sleeve. So in the second image, I've already cast off uh, about eight stitches, between six and eight stitches, and then picked up again and continued on the other side. In the end, uh, you'll have a, an image or a completed sweater that is like this. So that's the shape you make. And then when stitching up the sides, you end up completing the little sweater, uh, which is like this one here. Now the next type is a little bit more advanced and it should be somebody who's uh, comfortable with knitting, um, isn't brand new to the stitches and knows how to do things like uh, knit in the round, for instance. Um, so casting on a number of stitches and this is from the top down. So starting at the neck and knitting down uh, and using the stitch markers, which are in the second photo uh, on the screen where you're adding on uh, each stitch to create the angle of the sleeve. And I'll just give you a next image here. This ends up with a, a raglan sleeve, which were very common uh, with regular sized sweaters, and also uh, these tiny ones. So you have an option to do uh, either a short sleeved or a long sleeved version. Uh, and I have the long sleeved version here. And that means that when you're finished, um, you just put stitch markers to hold the sleeves in place to be able to finish those up. And then you pick up the stitches after and complete the little sweater. So I hope this is uh, not too confusing. Uh, there are written instructions and links to tutorials to help you along your way. And uh, I hope to see many, many of your, your images, your sweaters to share with us and add to this very large and important project. So uh, we hope to see, see you or hear from you and to see your knitting. And we're here to support you if you have any questions with the project. Thank you. And we will see you hopefully on campus in the near future.